面对这样新冠病毒，而且基于人类过去成功战胜病原微生物的这个经验，我们要注意。Published efficacy ranges between 79 and 86 percent, which is very good. 当前，中国疫苗全程接种率已达百分之九十二点九。我们已向一百二十多个国家和国际组织供应超过二十二亿剂新冠疫苗。In November and December 2022, China twice optimized its strategy for fighting COVID-19. Then, on January the 8th, the redefinition of COVID-19 from a Class A to a Class B infectious disease marked a new stage in the fight against it, from infection prevention to treatment. A key instrument in the fight against COVID has been a mass vaccination campaign. 当前，中国疫苗全程接种率已达百分之九十二点九。六十岁以上老年人接种覆盖率超过百分之九十。我们已向一百二十多个国家和国际组织供应超过二十二亿剂新冠疫苗。实践证明，中国疫苗是安全有效的。我们愿继续同国际社会加强沟通合作，更好应对疫情挑战，更好保护人民生命健康。China's success in fighting COVID-19 has been achieved through three years of arduous struggle. The country's development, production, and application of vaccines not only helped its own population, but also made a significant contribution to the global fight against the disease. In early 2020, no sooner had it been revealed that a deadly and unknown virus was spreading than Chinese scientists began work on developing a vaccine against it. Minute, invisible to the naked eye, it takes the all-seeing power of an electron microscope to force this silent killer to reveal itself. A sphere with a distinctive halo of spikes. Within a few months, the deadly new virus was causing global devastation. As dawn broke on January 2, 2020, attention was palpable at the National Institute for Viral Disease Control and Prevention. The scientists were about to receive a sample of the unknown virus from Wuhan. As soon as it was delivered, the team went into action, organizing the isolation and sequencing of the sample, the first step in vaccine development. 大约是十一点多的时候，然后我们一看，哇，确实是有序列，而且一比就是一个新的冠状病毒。By January the 10th, the Chinese scientists were able to publish the full genome sequence of the novel coronavirus. The World Health Organization subsequently named the infectious disease it caused, COVID-19. Identification of the virus's genome sequence opened the way for work to begin on developing a vaccine to combat it. China's Ministry of Science and Technology set out five separate R&D routes for researchers to follow. With COVID-19 spreading like wildfire, time was of the essence. Priority had to be given to the development of tried and tested technology. In this case, an inactivated vaccine. But developing an inactivated vaccine would be no quick fix. Initially, the scientists needed to select and culture a strain of virus suitable for creating a vaccine. The next key step would be to get a strain to grow naturally in a cell. After strict animal testing and the completion of three phases of clinical trials, on December the 30th, 2020, China's first vaccine was approved. Today, China offers 13 types of approved vaccines, 
developed along four of the initially identified five R&D routes. As a result, every member of the population who wants it has now been able to receive a COVID-19 vaccination. China started its mass vaccination campaign in early 2021. The goal was to vaccinate up to 80% of the population, over a billion people, by June 2022. The vaccination was free, and people could get it at hospitals or temporary vaccination centers, such as this one in a Beijing hotel. Here, 30 nurses worked seven hours a day, seven days a week, to give residents the jab they'd been waiting for. 最初的时候老百姓好像比较担心这个疫苗的安全性 and in Beijing's Shijingshan district, those who were vaccinated were awarded a commemorative badge and certificate. By mid-April, nearly 80% of the district's residents had received their jab. In a final push, some retirees took it upon themselves to promote the vaccine to those who were still unconvinced. <laughs> Vaccines may not prevent one from getting COVID-19, but can help reduce the risk of death and severe disease, thus saving lives. By January 2023, when China entered its new phase of COVID response, over 90% of the population had been fully vaccinated. According to the National Health Commission, from December the 8th, 2022 to January the 12th, 2023, there were 59,938 COVID-related deaths in medical institutions nationwide. The fatality rate is far below the global average. In the wake of the pandemic's outbreak, a global vaccine research and development effort was launched. Countries drew up their own vaccination plans. However, a discrepancy emerged that soon became an issue of widespread contention, that of the vast disparity in vaccine distribution between rich and poor countries. So far, just two countries in Africa have reached the 40% target, the lowest of any region. More than 5.7 billion doses have been administered globally, but only 2% of those have been administered in Africa. We call on all countries and manufacturers to share information on bilateral deals with COVAX and ABAT. COVAX is a joint initiative involving the WHO, which aims at ensuring equitable access to COVID vaccines for all countries. China is an active participant in COVAX. Through it and other bilateral arrangements, China has supplied vaccines to more than 120 countries and international organizations. China's first vaccine donations went to Pakistan. On January 31, 2021, a special Pakistan Air Force plane arrived in China to collect the doses. Once again, you have demonstrated that our friendship is an all-weather tested friendship. We've always stood with each other through thick and thin in difficult times, and this is a difficult time. 
Within two days of the dose's arrival, Pakistan launched a COVID-19 vaccination campaign, focusing initially on medical workers. Well, uh, for the time being, I'm okay. Uh, no uh, such issues. Uh, I'm okay. 新冠的疫苗毕竟也是一个新事物，因此呢，有一些人对它有一些担心或者想法，其实也是正常的。我们在新闻当中注意到，去年的这个年底的时候，巴基斯坦可能也有一些人会比较担心：哦，中国这个疫苗行不行？那现在随着这种捐助、随着接种、随着这样的一种合作，这样的声音变化了吗？ The feedback that we have from the expert, from people on the ground, is very positive. The the 1.1 million is、uh, also going to be procured. There is also a pre-booking which has been done, which is of 20 million doses.、Uh, so there is、uh, multiple、uh, Chinese vaccine which are being、uh, negotiated right now. Published efficacy ranges between 79 and 86 percent, which is very good. I think、uh, no vaccine is perfect, but I think this is very good protection. Chinese vaccines are now being administered to ordinary people in countries all around the world. I am just saying this only In addition to providing vaccine doses. China is supporting local vaccine production in a number of countries. Currently, China's domestic COVID situation is improving. Within days of the relaxation of zero COVID on January the 8th, several provinces and cities are already predicting that they have passed their infection peaks. In China, life and work are returning to normal at an accelerated pace, and for millions of people across the country. There is the prospect of enjoying a normal Chinese New Year with their families for the first time in three years.